hello and welcome to another rpa tutorial video today in this video we are going to learn how we can upload multiple input file into ai builder model to do the data extraction so in my previous video we have seen how to create the model custom model in ai builder and how to do the data extraction for single table as well as the multiple tables if you have not seen those videos so kindly see those video then you will be understand and this video will be helpful for you so before start i am requesting you to kindly support us by subscribing this channel and if you think this video is helpful then please click on the like button or it let's start Okay, so we have already created a couple of um, AI Builder uh, a custom model to do the data extraction and we are going to use one of the model from which we are going to uh, do this activity. So in order to see or create a model, you have to click on this AI Hub. Once you logged into Power Automate Flow, then here you will see this option as AI Hub and here you have to click on the AI model. So once you click there, you can see list of the model which you have created so we have created this multiple table data extraction model as well as this invoice data extraction model so this model is basically performing uh, data extraction for some of the field from the invoice as well as the table okay so we are going to use this model only we are not going to create any new model so let me show you the input file so we have some input files currently we have uh, a to this input file so we are going to up, upload these two files and from here bot will extract the data okay once this data will be extract so it will up, update into this output uh, excel file which is basically a excel where we have created a table to keep the data and let me go to my flow and here i have created one uh, small uh, flow which will uh, perform this action so let me give you a little idea and you can try uh, doing these things from your end if you face any issue then let me know so we are using this manual trigger flow and after that we are using a onedrive option called list file in a folder so we have uh, this input file so here currently i have two files in future maybe i have 10 files or 20 files so based on the number of files i want to process all the files right so this list file in a folder option will get all the information from the particular folder now after that we have to apply the loop so understand in simple format so in order to read all the files from here we have to go through and use the loop right so same thing we are doing here so first we are getting the folder information and this folder information is holding creating some output values or a variable so those value or the variable we are going to use in this apply to each so if you see here this i have passed this value if you if you click here so this property here you can see if you type here like you know the value so you can see this value will be present here so this value is nothing but it is holding the information from the previous steps if you keep here mouse here so you can see this is the list of files in a folder okay so this will um, store all the files okay whatever present in the folder and after that what we are going to do we are going to get the file name because in the folder I have multiple files available and I want to get each file name. So this ID, if you keep this ID again, this ID is produced by uh, this uh, action only. So if you see here, this ID is nothing but a unique identifier, which will give you the file name. So if you see here, we have that uh, different file names for each files, right? So it will get those file name. So after that, once the file name is available or the file information is available, I want to upload that information into the ai builder model so we are using this extract information from the document and the uh, form type is a pdf document so i have selected that and this once we run this step it will generate the output and the output will store into the body basically it will generate the json output and that information will be available into the body so it will basically give you the file content okay after that we are using another loop to get the information from the particular document which we are going to upload okay so 
if you see here inside uh, this another loop so if you understand correctly so we are using this this is our main loop so this main loop is reading all the files which is present in the folder and after that once we are getting the information from the document which is present in the folder and after that we are again putting another loop to append or add the data into the excel so because we have the multiple files so there will be multiple data right so in order to update the multiple data we have to use another loop and inside loop you can select any of the uh, table uh, field name okay so based on that it will apply that loop so here i have just selected the output uh, folder output file name okay along with that uh, the table name which is present in the excel file and this is again a step where i have just mapped the information another uh, one extra information which i have added here is the document name so if i go to my excel so here we can see this document name i have added so this will help us on understand the data which we are doing the data extraction so the output is coming from which file so we have the multiple files so it's better to keep a file name so in case if you want to check any of the value from which file this particular value comes so this very this particular document name will help you on getting that okay so you can find all the informations available here if you click here so you can see uh, if you click any of the uh, document name or any of the fields so you can see so this is the output okay which is generated by the ai builder okay so similarly if you type here the name so you can see or if you type like file name so you can see this the name of the file or the folder it will give that only okay so this is again a very straightforward uh, step only in my previous video i have shown you how to create this only thing is i have added another loop and this step to get the file information so now let's quickly run and test it so let me click on this save and test it All right, so we can see it it ran successfully now let's go to the uh, output file so let's open this okay so now we can see here so data is got updated so we have this uh, pdf2 and the pdf1 so these are the uh, information which we got from the form field or the first section and this is the information which we got it from this table section or right, it's now you might have a question like uh, uh, i mean in case if you want to rerun this uh, uh, code or if you want to append the data so how it is going to do so only thing is let me close this and what you have to do let's try with these other three files okay so i'm just copying this and i'm deleting these two files let me put here now if you if you run this what this process will do it will append that data from this three pdf files so let's quickly do that also and see so in this video we will understood how to upload multiple files and also in case if you have an existing uh, output file or a table where you want to append the data so how it can be done so this step will do the same things it will append rest of the data from these three files all right so it ran successfully now let's go to the table or the excel output and let me open it okay so now we can see this three four and it's keep keep up updating the other files let me close and open again okay so it will uh, uh, like we have uploaded like you know one two three and four so the fifth pdf data will also come only issue is uh, please ignore this this is my mistake only so i have kept in the model that's that uh, first row is not as a header so it is extracting that data also so just ignore this if you uh, check there there will be one box which i already i have explained in the 
uh, previous videos so you can see that that will eliminate this header section so now we can see this fifth uh, uh, pdf file data is also got updated so we can see this record from previous run and now the recent run which we just now done it has been updated so by this way we can read multiple files from the folder and update that data into the excel file so i hope this uh, flow is very straightforward and easy to understand only so in case if you find any challenge or any issue please uh, contact us or you can post into the comment section if you have any query you can mail us also we'll be happy to help you so once again thank you for your uh, help and support thank you so much